hello everybody and welcome back to my channel today I'm coming at you with a bare face and with a new video as well well a new type of video I am planning today to do a products on the chopping block video and essentially the premise behind or the thought behind that and the premise of the video is I would feature a product that just hasn't been working out for me in my collection and I showcase a why maybe it didn't work or I just figure out a way to make it work because at the end of the day I spent my money on these products that I've brought into my collection and I want to get my money's worth so if that sounds good to you then just keep on watching and today for the product that I'm going to be featuring it's going to be the Lawless Conceal the Deal foundation now I bought this foundation when it first initially launched and I was really excited I thought this was going to be the one matte foundation I was gonna love you know it was advertised as a lightweight self-setting and it was supposed to have a full coverage but it was supposed to feel like a sheer lightweight formula on the skin and now did it do all of those things for me it was it felt wonderful on my skin I did it felt extremely lightweight like I wasn't wearing anything and I really liked that quality about the product. What I didn't like was that I wasn't able to build on top of the product with itself, if that makes sense. Like I wasn't able to put down a layer and then go back on top and add additional coverage. I found that because it was self-setting, it would set so fast that as I went back to add more coverage in certain spots where I felt I needed it, it was just removing the product underneath like it was just slothing off of my skin and that was really disappointing for me because this was you know a higher end item that I got from Sephora and when I make higher end purchases like that I really want to make sure that I'm really getting my money's worth I'm getting the bang for the buck and I try to be extremely particular with the products that I purchased so that I don't have an unfortunate experience. And that is also why I wanted to do a video like this to, you know, give it one final test run. You know, if this is its last shot. If this method of application doesn't work for it today, it's gotta go. So. I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in a little bit more so we can see what we're working with. I'm going to throw a headband on and we're going to get started. Okay, we are here. We're all zoomed in and I have a theory. Okay, bear with me. So every time that I've tried to use this, I've always gone in with the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream and I'm thinking maybe because that product has just like the slightest slip to it, I'm thinking that maybe that is what is causing the product to also sloth off of my face. Not just that it's self-setting and it's just dried too fast. So what I'm planning on doing today is I'm really gonna cut down on the glowiness of my face. I'm, and if you've been here before, you know, I like to look like a glowy disco ball, so I'm going to cut down on the glowy primers. I'm just going to use a moisturizing one, and yeah, I'm going to see if that works. So on my face, basic skincare. So I have my Super Goop sunscreen. I have a Glow Skin a Lactic AHA Acid Serum on from like so early this morning so my skin is dry it's pretty clean for the most part and it probably just has the residue of those products from this morning so the first product I'm gonna go in with today is going to be a moisturizer because my skin is very dry that is my skin type or dry like a desert here and I need some extra hydration before I put on a matte foundation or we're going to have Flake City up in this biatch. So for moisturizer, I'm going to go in today with the Kiehl's Ultra Face Cream. 
This is still a really nice heavy duty moisturizer if you have dry skin, but it doesn't have that slip to it and that extra luminous, luminous quality that that Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream has. So I'm thinking that this, this might help us out a little bit. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that product and work it into my skin. Okay, so it's been a couple of minutes since I put that moisturizer on and I let it really soak into my skin. I really wanted to make sure to give it a couple of minutes, that way there was no like film of cream still left. So the next product I'm going to go in with is going to be the Milani Skin Quench Hydrating Primer. I really do like this, I feel like it does a really nice job of prepping my skin for makeup and giving me a nice extra bit of hydration. Just taking a small amount of that and work it into my skin. Okay, next on the agenda is gonna be this Lawless Conceal the Deal Foundation. The product in question for today. So I have my shade in golden and I remember when I got this I had a little bit of a tan going on and I felt like I was still a little on the light side. So this foundation is super super liquidy so be careful and make sure you shake it up if you have it. I am just going to put a little bit here and I think I might use a sponge. Yeah, I'm just gonna use a sponge over that one right here. Just going to spread that with my finger a little bit. And let's start. Let's see how this goes. I know before when I've used it, I have used a brush once and I used a sponge once as well. Okay, I'm definitely gonna need some more product. I'm not getting a whole bunch of coverage from what I put on. I felt like I put on a decent amount. Let me just put it on the back of my hand. And I'm trying to work fast so it doesn't start setting down on me. Nothing weird happening yet. Good sign, good signs. I'm running into issues. All right, I'm gonna try to put this on the rest of my face as evenly as possible, and then I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see my dilemma. And I would say that this shade match right now, it's, it's a little yellow for me, it's a little deep, it's a little dark, but you know, we'll make it work. We always do. you guys pretty pretty zoomed in right now so first let's check the coverage so I have a little birthmark right here I feel like it's more decently coveraged that I feel like it's more decently covered than even like what my Dior would give me so I feel like that's solid I've got this little um, spot right here where my skin flaked off yesterday and I have another one over here you can still see the redness and you can still see the spot it didn't completely cover it and I don't know if you guys can actually tell but right along here the product is acting a little strangely it looks like almost like it started to lift up on itself I was able to put down a little bit more but it just now it looks funky do you guys see that right here it's not just like my skin texture. I feel like it looks funky now because the product did still start to lift up on itself when I went in and added a little bit more to the area. 
but I was able to put on a thick enough of a layer that it like covered itself up but it's it doesn't look in my opinion like a smooth seamless layer of foundation you can definitely tell that it's you know it had issues uh, other than that I mean the feel is still the same I have no I didn't have a gripe about the feel of it my gripe really was the lifting problem and even like around my nose area it like around my nasal labial folds and such it did not want to stick I really had to go in there and dig in with the sponge to get it to stick onto that area of my face and granted I mean I do tend to have that issue with products more often than not but you know something to note I am going to go ahead and put on the rest of my face I'll probably speed up the footage for you guys and then I'll come back or if I have any issues while applying I'll come back and we can chat but otherwise I'll see you when my full face is done. Alright y'all, I finished my whole face, so let's do like a rundown on the situation. So nothing applied weird. I did notice that like when I was buffing my bronzer on, that spot over here that was acting funky, it continued to act funky. I don't know if you guys can tell right there, but it definitely does look like there's some patchiness going on on the side of my face. And, you know, it is what it is. I really had high hopes that this was going to be the perfect matte foundation for me. But, you know, she's just not. And that's okay. I mean, I thought this was really going to be the perfect matte foundation for me. I was so hyped when I saw the details on the formula and all the things that it was supposed to do. I mean the coverage is great. I love that it's self setting. You guys know I hate having my face be sticky. But I don't know. I've had this on now at this point for probably an hour. And I don't know at this point if it's going to survive this chopping block. I really think that this one might have to go. I don't think she's gonna survive. And let me tell you why. 
not only because of this situation that happened over here, but it's just, it's sitting weird on my skin. It may feel like nothing, like texturally on my skin, I don't feel it, but it looks heavy. Like, I don't know if you guys can see because of all these lovely lights I have, but I can definitely tell you that this this stuff has accentuated every dry part, every little bit of texture I have, and I like it even less now. The last couple of times that I have tried this, I have successfully worn it one time, and I still had the patchiness. I just, I don't know. I don't think this is, I don't think she's staying. I think she's gotta go. She's definitely gotta go. The color's not right. I mean, even though I could tan, I, now I'm making excuses of why I need to keep it. But honestly, I think somebody else in my life could get some better use out of it. Somebody who likes matte finishes and that somebody is just not me. <laughs> so I am gonna pass this product along she did not survive the chopping block. And as unfortunate as that may be, sometimes it's just like that. I would rather have a nice curated collection of products that I really enjoy using than forcing myself to use a product that just doesn't work for me. And that's why I gave it this one last final attempt. I gave her her chance and she's just not living up to my standards, so I've got to let her go. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please consider subscribing. I do all kinds of beauty content here on my channel, and I would love to have you around. I really love this little community that I am creating. Everybody is just so nice and lovely, so definitely consider subscribing, and if you don't mind as well, click the thumbs up button, give me a like. It really does help out my little channel. But until next time, guys, bye.